Hi there, I'm Dr. Christina Tanzavati and I'm a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. In this video, I'd like to answer some questions regarding a neck lift surgery. Some patients come in to see me and they've got a turkey waddle versus other patients who have very prominent bands in the neck. You know, you can see it. You see patients who have, or people who have these lines or these folds that are really, you can grab and they're prominent either on one side or both sides. And how do we address that? Does a neck lift address the turkey waddle pretty well? Yes and no. I want to answer that in that the turkey waddle is most often times excess skin, loose skin that's redundant there. And we can lift and chase that up. However, bands or platysmal bands are due to muscles that are also very prominent, very active, and sometimes hanging. So we want to remove the redundant muscles, but we also want to lift them and in addition sometimes those bands can come back regardless of surgery so of the two I can address a turkey waddle better than I can address very prominent bands and that's because those muscles that are active are still going to be active after surgery so I like to do Botox preemptively before surgery and then after surgery that's something that you might have to think about as a maintenance treatment that you're going to continue to do Botox to to those muscles so they're not hyperactive. So there you have it, the difference between platysmal bands, those neck bands, and turkey model, and how we address it with a neck lift. Thank you so much for tuning in.